welcome back to my channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you're new. Today, I am going to be doing a whole house clean with me, including cleaning our Airbnb. If you need some major cleaning motivation, keep watching. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ruth, and on my channel, I like to share cleaning and declutter motivation, as well as decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe, and then once you click that red subscribe button, please be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it, so that you don't miss out on any more videos on my channel. And while you're down there, if you are enjoying my videos so far, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That helps my channel out so much and lets me know that you like this type of video. I started this whole house clean with me off in my classroom. I teach ESL online and I just always like to go ahead and pick up my props and put them away after I'm finished teaching. So I went ahead and also picked up the camera and started filming. You I have finished teaching I like to go ahead and make our bed that way I am not tempted to get into it for the rest of the day Just wanna look into your eyes. You know you make me feel like I'm alive. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Moving on down to our Airbnb bathroom, I'm just going to start off by spraying down all of the surfaces with my favorite Scrubbing Bubbles bathroom cleaner. Next, I sprinkled some Comet into the toilet bowl, and then I'll just be using some general glass cleaner on the mirror. Once I've sprayed and wiped down the mirror, I'll just continue by wiping down the sink. Next, I just wiped down both the toilet and the tub, and you'll notice I am using a different rag for each of the things that I'm wiping down. Now that I'm done with our first bathroom, I will also be cleaning our upstairs master bathroom. I move on into the bedroom portion of our Airbnb and start taking off the pillows and the comforters. The guests had already taken off the sheets and I had thought about just leaving them that way since we don't have any bookings at the moment, but I knew I would probably forget to put them on per chance we do get a booking, so I decided to go ahead and put on some fresh clean sheets. Of 
our quarantine projects, we recently did some small updates into the Airbnb and one of them was some new pillows. We got the guests new pillows and then we just took the pillows that were originally down here and gave them to us. So it's like having new pillows much better than the ones we had ourselves and we're giving the guests brand new ones. Hey, she's everything I'm dreaming of. Hey, the one that I can live with. Using my Method All-Purpose Spray in the grapefruit scent, I'm going to start spraying down the fridge and the little kitchenette and then giving it all a good wipe down. Also, you may notice I seem to wipe down things quite a bit and I just wanted you to know this is not because of quarantine or anything that's going on right now. It's literally my normal routine. Obviously this right here, I wanted to get off and show y'all up close, but I am pretty crazy about wiping things down, especially in the Airbnb, cause in general, I try to keep the germs away and everything. Cause this is a place, you know, we have guests each time. Anyways, so this is just my normal routine. I normally would also go around and wipe off that little ledge that you see that goes all the way around the Airbnb, but I have recently done that because like I said, we did some updates to our Airbnb and that included a deep clean. We moved the beds away, vacuumed, I scrubbed all the marks off the wall, except for there are a few left, but <laughs> there was a lot. It took a, quite a while, but I am just going around and dusting off the main key points that have been touched, probably. Now that everything is clean, I'm just going to take my vacuum and give it all a good vacuum. I am using my, not my Dyson that I use upstairs, but I am using, what is this one called? I forget what this one is called. <laughs> Anyways, I am using this one. We've had this for almost six years now. We got it when we were first married and I absolutely love this one just as much as I do my other one. Obviously this one is not cordless so I don't love it as much but I keep it down here at the Airbnb and it's just nice to be able to have a second one as a backup and especially this one is a little bit more heavy duty than my Dyson. Now the Airbnb is all nice and clean. We don't have any guests checking in anytime soon, but I wanted to make sure it was nice and clean for when we do, and I wanted to give y'all a look at some of the updates that we did. We added some new decor. All of my decor, either I printed like that sign right there, or I DIY'd it from Dollar Tree, or it's been Goodwill, Thrift Finds. It's I love finding things cheaply that I can decorate our Airbnb. This is actually after a couple hours, my husband surprised me by coming home early from work that day. It was unexpected, but I wanted to continue cleaning and we went out and grabbed some drive through food and then I came back and I wanted to go ahead and get this kitchen cleaned up. So here I am just going around and picking things up before I start on the dishes. And you'll notice I changed from my leggings to some shorts and I'm absolutely loving this weather at least when it is nice enough to wear jeans. I tell you, Kentucky weather has been crazy lately. It's either in the 30s or it's in the 70s. You just never know. To clean my dishes, I'm just going to be using some generic dish soap. And also, I wanted to know, I mentioned the weather. What is the weather like where you're at? Comment down below where you're at, what state, and what the weather is like. Now 
that the dishes are all done, it's time to scrub out the sink and get it nice and shiny clean. Now I'm going to be using my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray and the lemon verbena scent to wipe down the countertops and my stove. Only two rooms left, the living room, which only needs a little bit of picking up and some dusting. I haven't done that in a little bit, to be honest. And then I'll be cleaning the bathroom. To dust the furniture, I'm just going to be using my Method Wood for Good Cleaner and a rag. We just have to believe it. before vacuuming is the master bathroom, our second bathroom that we have upstairs. To clean our master bathroom, I'm going to be using the same kind of cleaners that I used in our guest bathroom, except for the window cleaner. I am using some Method Glass and Surface up here because I ran out of the other stuff that I was using. I didn't get around to dusting our master bedroom because my husband was home and he was taking a nap, which is totally fine. I can always dust that at a later time. So I just went ahead and started vacuum the upstairs with my Dyson. is clean it felt so good to get all of that done and thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point thank you so so much I really do appreciate it I hope that this video gave you some cleaning motivation and that you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and if you like what you saw hit that red subscribe button and that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next video I hope y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later Thank you.